everyone. Stephen Hamby here again with Den Hogs Paintless Dent Repair. Tonight in the shop, we're going to be working on a 1975 Yamaha XS650. This was shipped to us from Grand Rapids, Michigan. It's a beautiful tank. I love the color combo on this. Uh, it's got a nice size dent on the uh, gold uh, decal on the top side of the tank, and then it's got a few on the other side, a little bit smaller. So I'll take you over and show you all the damage, and then we're going to get set up and repair this with Paintless Dent Repair today. So I appreciate you checking us out. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so you're looking at the top side of the tank. It has a nice golf ball size shot right on the gold decal. It's not a very deep dent. It's a pretty shallow uh, spot. It's just a nice size diameter dent. And then we're going to go over here to the right side and show you the uh, smaller damage to it. We're going to turn the light on here so you can actually get a good look at it. You've got two knuckle prints right here near the Yamaha decal, right close to each other. you got two side by side there. And as that light pans around, you'll see another small one up there near the top. It's about the size of a pencil eraser, pretty small. And then we have a crease on the front as well with a little bit of scarred up paint, nothing too crazy. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That's all the damage to the tank. So we're going to start with the most noticeable dent here on top. And what we're going to do is we're going to protect the finish by putting a microfiber cloth down into the fuel opening and put our little leveraging plate inside there. That way we can leverage off of that, shaping the damage out without distorting the fuel opening or messing up the paint. And right here, we've got one of our paintless dent repair tools with a one inch rubber ball. Uh, it may even actually be smaller than an inch. Nope, it is, it's one inch, one inch rubber ball. And we're gonna go inside the tank and we're gonna start shaping that damage back out. Now off camera, we have a heat gun set up, uh, applying heat to the paint. Uh, whenever we're working on motorcycle tanks, it's better to be safe than sorry. So we always heat the metal that helps prevent any possibility of the paint cracking while we're shaping the damage back out. All right, we've gone ahead and moved to the right side of the tank now. We're gonna start shaping out those two little knuckle prints. You can also see I'm using a blending hammer. We're basically taking down the high spots around the perimeter of the damage, remolding it and shaping it back to that perfect curvature so that there's no dent left. We just finished fixing that little tiny uh, pencil racer dent and we're repairing that crease now, as you can see as well. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of paint damage right on the front side of the tank, uh, but it's pretty minor, very minimal. Customer was mainly concerned with the dents and keeping the original patina on this uh, tank. So uh, we got the dents out for them, extremely happy with the repair. We're actually gonna show you the top side now as well, that larger dent that was maybe about the size of a golf ball as mentioned earlier. We got that completely shaped out as well. And the customer was absolutely blown away. He loved the results, was extremely excited when he got his tank back. Um, and you know, honestly, jobs like this are really rewarding for us. We love working on restorations, older tanks. Uh, doesn't happen very often, so when we get those, it's always um, you know exciting for us to be able to work on as well. All right, guys, again, I appreciate you taking the time to check out this video. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We post repair videos all the time, and we'd really appreciate the support. Also, if you have a dent on your bike that you'd like to get in touch with us about scheduling a repair, you can find us at 678-544-3004. You can also shoot us an email with photos of your damage to denthogs at gmail.com. And then you can always find us on the web at motorcycledents.com. All right, guys, again, I appreciate it, and we'll catch you next time.